Hi, do you want to open my Archer and Olive order with me? I just got it in the mail. I'm very excited. I kind of forget what I ordered. These are all new products that I ordered last week. So let's check it out. I haven't had a big Archer and Olive order in a while. Um, but I'm very excited. I love their products so much. Got these little fluffies. Let me remove those. Lots of goodies here. Okay, I'm just gonna pull this aside so we can check everything out one at a time. I have two sticker packs here to show you first. The one is called Retro Road Trip and the other is called Retro Florals. So let's check them out. You're gonna get two sheets of the same thing. That's the way the Archer and Olive stickers work. And these are gonna coordinate, of course, together. That's why I got both of them. This sheet reminds me of like the 60s. Look at that. Look at her. She is like so cool with her scarf and her red hair. I think she's beautiful. We have this little motel. Oh, it's called the A&O Motel, like Archer and Olive. That's so fun. We have that little postcard there, the little VW bug, some flowers, just a cute little sheet with sparkles and stuff. There are some foils on here. It's like a very soft gold foil. And then here we have the florals that match. I think that's so cute. I'm excited to use these in a spread. This is the mini pastel dot grid notepad. I love the notepads because it just gives me extra paper when I need it. And this one is so cute. It is mini. I've never had a mini notepad and I love this so much. I ordered it honestly because it was mini. <laughs> because I have the pastel um, A5 size, I guess, or B5. I don't know which size it is, but I have that notepad. But this one is just so little and cute, and I can just grab a piece of paper and tear it off when I need it for like just little bits of color in my spreads or something. So we have pink, and then yellow, and then a brighter yellow, and the green, and the blue and the purple. So we have all of those colors. I love these so much. By the way, I'll link all the products for you in the description box. And um, you can use my code PWB10 for 10% off at Archer and Olive. Don't forget to use that code. It will save you some money. Next, we have a monthly sticker box. I don't know which one this is. Let me check it out. So these are monthly kits. They put these out every month and they're basically a bunch of planner supplies that go together. And I think they're so fun and you can create multiple spreads with one kit. So let's see what this one is. They wrap it so pretty. So this one's called the Adventure Awaits Monthly Kit. So let me pull everything out and show you everything that is included in the kit. So first we have these sticky notes with tabs. I think these are really useful if you're trying to separate your bullet journal or your planner into different sections and you can just stick them right on your page. You know what I mean? And then write whatever category you need right there. These are especially good for like temporary things, I think, you know? Like, I mean, you could use it for permanent things too, but I think you could separate them out if you're just doing something quick. And these are in different colors of blue. They're really cute. Okay, we have some tapes. I don't know if I'm going to swatch all of the tapes in this video. There's a lot of them, but I will do the ones that are like multiple pictures so you can see. But I think you'll get the gist of these two. So they're really pretty colors. It's going to go with everything else in this box. And then these ones I will put on paper just so you can see what they look like. My little swatching micro notes here <laughs> that I use for like pens and tapes and stuff. This is what it looks like. Isn't that cute? Let's do this one too. So it's this like vintage travel theme box which is so fun. Look at that with the little airplanes and everything. I think that's so cute. I guess it's not really vintage, but travel themed. We have a metal stencil here, which I need to use these. I have so many of them and I hardly ever use them. Whoa, it's trying to jump away from me. I hardly use them. 
but this one's really cute. Look at that. We have the little airplane and this little tag, some flowers, another tag. I guess these are tags. I don't know what they are, but you know what I mean? That's really cute. Careful, these are sharp. <laughs> What's inside this? Oh, we have some papers. I love that they include the colored papers in these because um, it's just so helpful when you're making your spreads. And I just love being able to, you know, just include little bits of paper in there. So those are the colors and they're going to match the stickers, right? Let's check out the stickers. Okay, so here's what the stickers look like. I think they're adorable. Again, with the little tags, this little box that has, the, oh my gosh, I just love them. With the Archer and Olive stickers in the kits, you're always going to get one sheet that's like decorative and one sheet that's more functional. So this is going to have your days of the week and then the dates and stuff. So I like this a lot. I love the little airplanes with the flowers. And look, there's Monday through Sunday on these like little icons. They're so cute. And then over here, again, with the airplanes, the flowers, the tickets, stuff like that, little stamps and stuff. It's a cute color palette, and it's just a really fun theme. And, you know, I love to travel, so this makes sense for me. Then we have some large embellishing stickers. I don't know what that means. I guess just really larger ones. Oh, these are on clear. So... Again, with the florals, the air, I love the airplane combined with the florals. That's super cute. This one is cut out in the middle like a wreath. Super fun. Paper clips. I collect these and they're really fun to um, either use or put in pictures for Instagram. And these are so cute. This is one of the reasons I got this particular kit <laughs> because they're little airplanes. How cute are these? You know what I mean? They're so fun. I love these. So those are my little airplane clips. <laughs> so cute. And we have a Dutch door page, which is a monthly cover page. And basically what you do is cut this out and you can like put that on the side of your page. And then you're going to glue it onto your bullet journal or your planner. If you don't want to use it like this, you can certainly cut this up into little different sections or you can cut out the individual pictures. You can also use this background paper for other things because it's going to match your stickers and stuff. So, you know, you do get this one too, but this one's a little bit different. So, yeah. So there's that. That is a super cute kit. I really like this one. You get a lot in these. Sometimes I'll also use the Dutch door um, packaging. So because this is cut out and you can put like the colored paper behind it. So, you know, I could take the purple paper and put it behind it and then cut it out and stick it in my planner or my bullet journal. I think that's fun. Okay, so, so I usually do save these. All right, so that again is called the Adventure Awaits monthly kit. Let's check out the second monthly kit I bought. By the way, I did buy all of this with my own money. Um, Archer and Olive did not send this stuff to me, so this is my you know, honest review of all this stuff. And they're not sponsoring me or anything like that. Let's check out the second monthly kit. Honestly, I think the monthly kits are my very favorite things. This one is called the Bon Appetit monthly kit, and you can guess it's food related, and I love food stickers in my planner and food themed stuff, so I think this one's gonna be cute as well. A little present for me. Look at the little boxes. It's so fun. Okay, let me pull this aside. Obviously, some of the things in the monthly kits are going to be the same, but some of them are going to be different, you know, that you get. So let's look at each thing. Set of bowl clips. What are bowl clips? Are those like those little um, binder clips, maybe? Yeah. Aw. 
They're mini little clips. I like those. <laughs> They're very strong. Oh, I love yellow too. You know that, right? I mean, <laughs> this yellow does not match that yellow, but it's yellow nonetheless. Look at these pretty colors together. So these are multicolored sticker tabs. I don't really know what I'll use these for, but my first thought is obviously to use these as like page markers, but you can also do lots of things with these. I can make designs with these on my page. Oh my gosh. I could like stack them, especially since they're going to match everything else in the box. I love the color palette. I think that's super cute. It matches my little binder clips or bowl clips. We have a stencil in this one too. Oh, and by the way, the monthly kits are not a subscription. Archer and Olive does have a quarterly subscription box, which I do get. That's a bigger box. These are like just one-off boxes that you can buy at any time. So it's not an ongoing thing. A chef's hat and little spoons and spat. Oh my gosh, a spoon and spatula and those little leaves. That's really fun. What's this? It's a mystery. Oh, this must be the scrapbook paper. My only complaint about these papers, and it's not really a complaint, is that they say Archer and Olive on the back, but honestly, it doesn't actually matter. <laughs> it doesn't actually matter, so I don't really mind because you can just flip it. So that makes sense, but Look at that. It just oh, all coordinates. And then we have stickers, of course. Let's move this stuff out of the way and look at our stickers. In every kit, you do get the stickers. These are so cute. It's just little cooking theme. I don't even like to cook that much, although I do HelloFresh now and I kind of enjoy that. But this is so fun with the little chef hats. We have like a little, I don't know, what is that? A, a crock pot or a Dutch oven or something. And we have the little, little spatulas and wooden spoons and like the pot holder. Little stickers with oil. And of course florals in here. They usually have that. And then here's your functional page. Again with like the little icons that have the days of the week. We have the numbers here checklist, wish list, important reminder weekend. We have some functional boxes and then the days of the week. And again, you're going to get two pages of each. So you can make a spread and not worry because you can make another spread later. So those are really cute. Let's look at the tapes. The first time I saw these boxes, I thought it was pens. I was so excited. I'm like, oh, calligraphs. No. Maybe I'll swatch all of these. Let's see. I like the idea of swatching these and then putting them back instead of wasting it by swatching them out and leaving it on the page. I can just roll them back up. I don't usually do that, but I think that's a good idea. Again, with the color coordination, Archer and Olive pays such attention to detail when it comes to colors and I love that. Honestly, they pay such close attention to everything and the quality is amazing in these boxes and in all of their products in general. The quality, I've never had an issue with quality, I don't think. Maybe there was like a couple of washi tapes that were questionable, but for the most part, the quality is so good. I'm always very pleased with my orders. Look at that. They're so cute. They match the stickers. They match the colors. I'm a fan of this box already. I feel as though I'm talking very slowly today. Like I feel calm and serene when I'm opening these Archer and Olive boxes. Even though I have a big coffee, I'm feeling very like zen. Can you tell? 
people say that I'm like the Bob Ross of planning. I think that comment is so hilarious, but in this video, I feel like it's true. I don't know. So again, with the large embellishment stickers, these are gonna be on clear. And look at those, they're gorgeous. Again, we have a wreath. Look at this. I almost don't wanna use these, they're so cute. But of course, we use our stickers here on my channel. We always use the stickers, but they're so pretty. Okay, let's look at the Dutch door. And this is what your Dutch door looks like. Very pretty. I like the little mint green color. It's kind of mint, kind of sage, but I like it. Okay, let's put this back. We'll put all of this stuff back in the box. I actually store them in the boxes and I have like had a quandary like before. I don't know how to store the Archer and Olive stuff because sometimes if I put them in the boxes, I forget about them. But if I separate them and put it in my stash, I also feel like I won't be able to pull it all together because I'll forget the pieces. So I do keep the monthly kits in the boxes together. And as soon as I move and have like more room, I'll have a better handle on the boxes that I have because right now they're kind of shoved in a corner of my closet and I have a very small area for that stuff, but I'm gonna have a bigger area when I move so I'll be able to access them and use them more. So I'm excited about that. I have pens, but we're gonna wait and do the pens at the end. Right now, let's look at the other washi tapes I bought. So this one is called the Vintage Motel washi tape set. These sort of remind me of like vintage California or something, I think because of the palm trees. This is definitely gonna coordinate with that retro road trip sticker pack. So this is what it looks like. We have that little A&O motel, so cute. Love the palm trees, love the colors. We have sparkles here. I feel like this one's gonna be used a lot in my spreads. It feels very neutral and something that I can definitely use a lot. Look at this one, this is so pretty. This is so pretty, oh my gosh. That's so appealing to me. I love like this blue color. I'm a big fan of light blue. And then here's a little darker blue to go with it. And I love that they include different sizes in these washi tape sets. Like, you know, you get a larger one and then it goes smaller and smaller. And you get like a little skinny one to match. So you can mix and match. You can probably put this one with this one, you know, like on a spread. Why won't this stand up? There we go. So pretty. I love this one. This is really pretty. This is called the Lovely Postcard Washi Tape Set. And this one is going to coordinate with that travel themed sticker pack. Again, we have different sizes here. Let's check these out. The colors are beautiful. There's some foil on this one. Actually, do all of them have foil? These three have foil. I don't mind little bits of foil. I wouldn't like a whole foil washi tape, but I love just like little bits of foil. You have those little stamps with the florals. That's so pretty. So this one says, wish you were here in, in like foil and then the little postcard, the little florals, and there's like a grid behind it, which is fun. Then this one is more foil on it with these little, um, whatever they are, little branches or little florals. And it's hard to see, but definitely gold foil on that one. This is probably my favorite because it reminds me of like airmail and it just like brings it all together. You know what I mean? If you're making a travel spread, you can combine that with that because the little stripes are on that. That's so fun. Archer and Olive, I love you. Did a great job. So far I like everything. And again, this is my honest review, but I really do like everything. <laughs> so it's hard, like you might not think it's an honest review, but, <laughs> but it is. 
let's check out the Calliograph pens that I bought. So the Calliograph pens from Arch and Olive are brush pens. I have a collection going. I really like them. They're easy to work with. We'll swatch these out. Okay, they named these, so I'm not gonna name them. They named them for me. This one's called the Retro Road Trip Pack, and it's gonna match like the other Retro Road Trip stuff. So these are dual tipped. Um, you're gonna get a bigger brush on the one side and a smaller brush on the other side. This is called Retro Orange. I just find them really easy, like I said, to work with. Orange. And then this side is obviously thinner. So if you're writing smaller, you would use this side. This one's called Hidden Forest. Oh, I love that name. Let's just do this. It's so pretty with the orange. This one is Dusty Mint. I'm not going to do both sides. I'm just going to do the one side now. This one is Pool. I think in the next set I'm going to try to name them without looking at the names. Oh, pretty. I love those colors together. That's really pretty. This one's called Flower Power. I don't love that one as much with the rest of them, but I think it will match like this and this would go really well together and even this with it. I don't know if I'd put the orange with that one, but I love these so much. Now let's check out my other set that I bought. This is the Sunset Breeze Pack. When I open them, it's so fun. Okay, look at that sunset breeze. I'm not gonna look at the names. I am not looking, I'm just pulling it out. Hmm, that's like a dusty rose. Let's see what they call it. Pink sand, ooh, that's better. That one looks like a tropical blue, groovy blue. Ooh, I love that one. Um, I'm gonna call that one Beautiful Sky. Sea foam, they call it. I mean, that makes more sense. It's a little bit green. That one I feel like is, it's kind of like a rust color. I feel like that one would be like, well, just call it rust. <laughs> Motel Sunset is so much better than Rust. Rust is not a pretty word. Let's check out the last one. Ooh, that one's so pretty. So this color palette together is beautiful. I'll call this one Fading Sun. <laughs> Pale Ivory. Okay, okay. That's gorgeous. I love color palettes in general. So, and like color combinations it makes me happy. So those are beautiful. Now we have some acrylograph pens. That's the last thing I have to show you. Let's check these out. So the acrylograph pens are paint pens and I love these so much because these ones, you can color stickers with them to, because they're paint pens, they're opaque. So you can color right over stickers to change the color of the stickers. I do that all the time. And sometimes um, even clear stickers, you can color over anything. And they're buildable too, so you can put more color on it if you want. Oh, we're not gonna look at the colors. Ooh, that's pretty. It's the Sunset Breeze set. Are these gonna be called, all right. They're called the same colors as the other ones, so I won't guess the colors. The acrylograph pens, you have to shake first. So they take a little while to start, but once you start them, the next time all you have to do is shake them a little bit and you're fine. But with these, they start out white and you have to press them down until you see the paint come through. It takes a little bit, but it's already coming, see? There we go. 
What was this one called? Motel Sunset. Also, these will not bleed through the Happy Planner paper. You would think they would, but it doesn't. Um, these don't either, but I feel like these do more than the paint pens. Oh, I just smeared it. You have to let it dry for a second before you touch it, but for some reason, um, the paint sits on top of the paper, so you don't have to worry so much about it bleeding through. So you can also use these to write directly on your planner, to write in your plans and stuff. I do that sometimes too. These are the 0.7. They have also 0.3. Actually, I don't know that they have the 0.3 anymore. The 0.7 are better in my opinion because you can get into small spaces, but you can also color in bigger spaces. There's your pink sand, a little light for me. This one's probably gonna be even lighter. This one is that pale ivory. Okay, these two are not writing as well as that first one for some reason. Do you see how they're thinner? They're a little more scratchy. It could be that I didn't shake it enough or start it enough. You do have to let the ink flow all the way down. No, it's still kind of scratchy. So sometimes it's a hit or miss with these, but they're still usable. You know, it's just not as much of a nice experience writing with it. This felt really smooth. These did not feel as smooth. This one is the sea foam. Also a little scratchy. I don't know why that motel one was the best one. Again, still usable. It's not skipping or anything, but it just doesn't feel as good. This one does write better. Groovy blue. Yeah. So I do definitely recommend these paint pens, even though some of them are a little bit scratchy. Um, love the paint pens. I have a very big collection of them. I'm really glad to get some new colors in there, though. I almost bought another set of colors, but I have so many at this point that I'm like, I have to order a whole other pen holder. <laughs> but... But these are so useful. I love them so much. Anyway, that was a big haul. I am very excited about all of these new things, like all of the new things. I don't, I usually put everything like out at the end, but I don't feel like it. Anyway, let me know in the comments what you are planning to purchase or did you already purchase something? And don't forget to use my code PWB10 to save yourself some money. All the links will be in the description box. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.